Well, that ripped me out the plastic I've been acting brand new feeling is now in Hancock County after a new beauty supply store opened up shop over the weekend. I was there for the grand opening. Come with me to see what's developing in Waveland. It was a milestone achievement for store owner Constance St. Julian Mims as downtown Waveland helped celebrate the grand opening of Unique Transitions Beauty Supply. It's a great day. Miss Connie's opening up her, her uh, retail store and soon to open up her barber college out here on Highway 90 in, in beautiful downtown Waveland. We plan to offer everything for every texture of hair. After 15 years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance, Constance St. Julian Mims is now seeing her dreams come to life. This has been a struggle. It, it has, we actually started right after pandemic to try to put preparations for going in here. Funding has been hard, but uh, we piece it together. This has been a community product, really. It's very hard for African Americans to get into this type of industry. And so being able to partner with me, I was able to get her access to all the inventory she needed in her store. And I was also able to set up a lot of her systems and processes in her store. So that basically this store can be able to run on autopilot. Now that the beauty supply store is open, Customers don't have to travel far out of the city for products. What happens is if anybody needs beauty supplies at all, they have to need to go to Supply Dale or they have to go to Gulfport. We haven't had anything here in this area since uh, before Katrina. It's been 18 years since Hurricane Katrina, and so uh, you know, we, we have Ground Zero Museum on Coleman Avenue because Waveland was Ground Zero and 90 percent of the city was destroyed by the hurricane. So it, it's really, really uh, exciting that the city's coming back now. As the city of Waveland is beginning to undergo a $16 million rebuilding project, Janice Frederick says it's important to support black-owned businesses come to these local black owned beauty supply stores and support not just on the grand opening but every single day because as you support a black owned business our dollars get circulated in the black community in waveland i'm spencer reed pillman wxxt news 25.